Scuffles broke out between two rival factions of MIC before a Central Working Committee or CWC meeting to discuss an order by the Registrar of Societies or ROS on Thursday. The meeting ended without much progress except to decide that the top two party leaders, President Datuk Sri G. Palanivo and his deputy, Datuk Sri Dr. S. Subramaniam, will meet the ROS next week. My, myself and uh, uh, Dr. Subramaniam will sit together and have a short discussion uh, next week. And then uh, uh, we will discuss with the ROS, the Registrar of Societies, on the issues that they have raised and they will raise. We do not want our party to be deregistered. <coughs> Within 90 days, they might suddenly deregister our party. So we do not want our party to be deregistered. Uh, we will solve all our problems. We will solve all our problems. And we have set up a committee uh, to look into this ROS issue. I will also speak to my Home Minister, uh, that was Zaid Hamidi and we'll have a, a discussion with him. The two are the only ones who have been spared from the ROS order, which call for the re-election for all other party posts. In the days leading up to the meeting, the party was embroiled in controversy, with some factions questioning the validity of the CWC members invited for Thursday's meeting. Palanivo clarified later that it was not a CWC meeting as touted previously, but was an ordinary working committee meeting. Just before the meeting, former youth chief and MIC strategic director Tatuk Sri S. Valpari led a protest along with several hundred MIC members demanding for fresh elections. Police later escorted the duo into Palanivo's office, where after a brief discussion, they were allowed to attend the meeting. Palo Nivo, who is Natural Resources and Environment Minister, says the party would form a joint committee to look into several issues concerning the party polls. He says the joint committee will comprise 10 people who have been calling for a fresh election, as well as the members of the CWC who were elected last year. When asked on calls for Palo Nivo to resign as party president, he brushed it off, saying that only a group of people had said that. He also refuses to comment on what issues will be discussed by the committee, saying that it's private and confidential.